Today I'm going to discuss two backrooms levels with the weirdest names. Now there's a lot of levels with some very weird names, you've, you've seen them, I've gone over them, but in this video, I'm going to be going over level square root 2 and level help. Now these are two enigmatic levels and they're both downright unnerving. I think you should enjoy this one. If you do, leave a like. If you don't, leave a like. Let's get into the video without further ado, shall we? So to begin, I want to go over a backrooms level square root two. So if you aren't aware or you haven't heard of square roots, it's a mathematical term where a number under the square root symbol is divisible by two of the same numbers. For example, the square root of 16 is four because four times four is 16. The square root of four is two because two times two is four. And the square root of 25 is five because five times five is 25. So on and so forth, you get what it is. Math lessons with Brugley. Leave a like. So this level's name is square root two, which would mean it's actually backrooms level 1.414213562237. That's a mouthful, but that is a weird name. The level, of course, is an enigmatic level, and it's classified as a class sigma like Sigma Brugli, and it's classified that because of its unreliable documentations and its non-Euclidean space and weird creature thing. This one's just plain strange, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you here. This is one of the only levels that's actually classified as Class Sigma, so I think you, you kind of see how weird it's gonna be. The level takes the appearance of a constant state of fluctuation in a grid plane. There are weird blue fibers and geometric void shapes and everything like that constantly flying around. The size of the level is really unknown because of the constant shifting and because it's pretty dangerous to even try to walk here since the integers of the level move around 24 seven. There are blue lines and grids that shoot through the sky constantly and you can see them and that they're real but they can't hurt you because they pass through all matter. So if you're walking around, the blue lines can just cut right through you. The entire space of the level is non-Euclidean, of course, and it's kind of a grid plane that you can get trapped into. Think of a coordinate plane that you've seen from like the retro stuff. That's what this place looks like. It seems to be that this level is controlled by a creature or entity or something that's kind of mathematical because there's been reports of an entity in the level that are described as, quote, the eternal nature of numbers and that this entity is also quote lonely in their world an entire googleplex could pass by without any external contact end quote so it sounds like this entity is lonely and it's weird mathematic void type thing kind of sad leave a like for it there are no bases or communities here since it's just literally an empty grid plane with blue strings and stuff and to enter, you have to find an imaginary number on level 81 to get sent here. To be honest, I have no clue how you do that. Don't come asking me, but that's the only way to get here. To exit, you have to find a randomly appearing door in this grid plane and open it up and you'll be sent out. Obviously, this level was a weird one, but I think it was pretty cool. I love the mathematical strangeness of it all. It's just very mind bending. If you think about it, a coordinate void with weird geometry and all this weird stuff thrown through the air. I don't know how to explain it better than that. Hope you liked it. Level Help is next, and this is also a very strange name for a very strange level. It starts with this notice. Quote, the following document is solely based off of a single source of information, that being a corrupted file discovered in the backup drive of the MEG database. It was successfully restored, and whatever viable information that could be gleaned from it is presented herein. Additionally, for the purpose of posterity, an unabridged contents of the discovered file are attached at the bottom. The identity of the file's original author has been determined authentic, as has his disappearance. Therefore, there is a strong reason to consider this account to be genuine." End quote. So that was a pretty weird note that got found, can't lie. But this note describes a level that isn't accessible by normal means. Now this level has to be accessed by an entity banishing you to it. And I'll get more to that later. 
The level has been given a class undetermined because of the weird properties and how very few people have actually gotten here, but help is the name of it because that was the file name of that note in the database, and therefore this level has been given that name. It's thought that this level functions as a type of prison for things that have been banished by that entity. Based on the file's description, it takes the appearance of a large pocket dimension that's very dark and gloomy. Most of it is a very dull and empty void populated with sporadic energy and lightning storms. The ground is just hard gray material, the sky is gray and black, and it expands out. At an unknown point in this stormy void, a random building exists, and this building is a prison because it's made of prison cells. The cells have stone walls and iron bars, and they do not obey physics or geometry or pretty much anything at all, because inside of the cells is much bigger than it looks on the outside. And like I said, this level is a prison dimension, like a prison colony kind of, and the only way to enter is by being banished from an entity. You have to make a certain entity mad, and it sends you here. We have a guess on what the entity is, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. And if it is that entity, we know why it's so powerful. Just know you should not make it mad. But this is just a large void with storms and lightning and a decaying remote prison. It's, it's pretty cool to me. I, I think it's pretty neat. So now I'm going to read that entire note, and I'm going to show you the important parts because it's really long. But I'll show you the parts that we've gotten, and I'll show you also what entity we think controls this place. I am Jacob Howard of Team Michael in the Meg's Quick Match Regiment. I am currently stranded in an environment which, to my knowledge, has not been documented in the database. Screw it, this is taking too long to form my words. I just gotta type. I barely have enough Wi-Fi signal and battery life to upload this file to the database as it is. For anyone reading this, I am sorry in advance for the lack of formality, but I'm worried about more important things at the moment. I don't know where I am, but I know how I got here. I was making the rounds in level 1, searching for lost wanderers in need of rescue. Came across this entity, a shadowy guy in a cloak with a large ring of keys. I saw him approaching a wanderer and I rightfully assumed the worst, so I drew my weapon. Suddenly he came out of nowhere with this golden key that he pulled off his ring. He literally ripped a hole in the air with it, I can't explain it better. He just opened a hole in the air and he shoved me into it and now I'm here. I'm in some kind of holding cell where I'm definitively being held prisoner for all intents and purposes. No idea why I'm not dead, but not that I'm complaining. The cell looks like the kind in a medieval dungeon, heavy wrought iron bar door surrounded by stone on all sides. Its dimensions are perfectly fitted to the size of my body with there being exactly enough room to stand up and reach out my arms completely. My god, there's no bottom or ceiling or walls here, I'm just floating in this endless void. The cages aren't even being held by anything, we're just in this massive empty void. Everything's suspended in midair. He's here. The cloak guy, he popped himself out of nowhere. I have to finish this quickly, I have no clue how to get out of here, I'm assuming those keys on his ring could. I don't have much time, Meg, if you're reading this, you better come and rescue me ASAP. If this is the last time anyone hears from me, I just want to say that I thought I did what was right. And this is how I'll go out if it comes to that. So the file then ends right after he says that, and that's pretty much all we know. This Jacob guy has not been found or located whatsoever, but we do have a sneaking suspicion that the entity is Entity X, the Keymaster. This is a very powerful creature, one of the most strong in the back rooms and can kind of just control time and reality. I'll link a video that I made on him in the description. Who knows though, weird prison level. You shouldn't make the Keymaster mad. You shouldn't do any of that, but don't go here. Unless you're me, I could probably survive myself, but. Hope you enjoyed that's it for the video thank you for watching till the end if you enjoyed drop a like it would help out the algorithm also leave a comment on which one of these levels you thought was weirder the level square root of two or level help i like both they're both very strange and very enigmatic but i'll let you decide check the links below for my twitter instagram channels blah blah blah, blah. you already know how it is hopefully you have a great day tell someone you love them hopefully you have a great new year and i will see you all later peace